it's a task, it's going to be a blue check mark. If it's a story point, it's going to be that little green thing right there. So we're creating user story. Um, okay, can, can you mute everyone? There's a lot of noise at the background. Okay. Please, guys, please be mindful if you're not talking or asking the question, please mute yourself so we can eliminate a lot of the background, um, please. So you can click on there. So let's start with um, our first epic. How, what, what is it that we, what was our first epic? It was that count, right? So what is it that we're trying to create in this account feature? I think the epic was that for customers to have the ability to um, create account a, remote. a bank account remotely from the home. Okay. The home, yeah. So what are some of the user stories that we can have? So typically, um, the product owner will be the one doing this, not a scrum master, right? So the product owner will have um, requirements. They can be functional requirements, and they can bring that in and start creating user stories with them. So a functional requirement, a functional requirement wow, <laughs> is mainly reading from a systems perspective, right? Um, for example, uh, at the, the system or the whomever the role is. So let's say the Bank of America. I don't know why I'm choosing Bank of America. But Bank of America, um, if they're using some kind of system, I don't know what system they will be using because I've never worked there. But the functional requirement will be mainly um, showing what they, how they want the system to function. And then the user story will be capturing how more on the, on the customer side of it, right? How they want the customer to have that experience using that system. So what is it that we're trying to provide for the customer? What are the values um, or benefits that we're trying to provide for the customers? And before we start that, um, who is familiar with user story and how do you write those? What is a user story? It's basically from the user perspective in the form of like, as a user, I want so that, so for example, I, as a user, I want to make a payment by a PayPal account so that my payment is safe and secure. Okay. So it goes with as a customer or mm -hmm. as a role, right? Um, I want a benefit so that Mm -hmm. I can achieve my goal or whatever it is that mm -hmm. I'm trying to accomplish, right? Uh, I think it's a role, goal, yeah. and then benefit in the yeah, form. Yeah, <laughs> role, goal. I want, uh. I want um, something. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Action. I want an action, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. So that I can achieve a goal or a benefit. So typically, this is how your user story will be coming up like. But once again, be mindful, not all organizations work like this. I know um, work, when I work uh, with a different company, um, Comcast, they literally did not have user story written. They literally just say UAT testing, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> or so later I'm just like, what the hell? This is not a user story. What? What? Um, there were no acceptance criteria, none of that. It was just UAT testing, um, customer services. And I'm just like, what? So yeah, so it's important to at least advocate or coach your product owner to be able to break those requirements into user stories or those tickets into user story. So now that we have an idea of what a user story would look like, so now can we come up with a user story for this feature that we're trying to create. So as a customer, right, we're working on, actually, we're working on the account feature, right? So as a customer, what is it that we're trying to do? I need to be able to access my account remotely. Okay, um, as a customer, I want to, 
I want to access my account remotely. Well, you could say I want to access my account using my Android or I don't know. Okay, we're, we're going to get there. So I want That's to right. access my account remotely, right? This is where the so that, the benefit, right? So that I can, let's say pay, pay bills or whatever. I don't know. I have so that I have the flexibility to pay bills or something. I don't know. So if we're okay, if the if the <laughs> action is it that we want to be able to access our account remotely um, through, yeah. you said Android. Is that what you said, Ola? Yes, uh, Android. Hmm. Okay, so that I can, you said, make a payment. Make payment. Make yeah, payment. Uh, hello. Yeah, go ahead. Um, well, like, you know, if you say Android, you can't use an iPhone to make that payment, right? Well, hold I on, know, AK. Hold on. Oh, okay. Um, um, maybe that would rather pass as a task or something. I don't know. Hold on, okay, AK. I this is a it's a learning process, right? We're gonna make that's part of um, agility or agile when you write a requirement or a user story. And then part of the team discovery process, right? When your backlog requirement and you're thinking you're like, wait, that doesn't make sense. We need more clarity. What do oh. you mean through Android? Um, sorry, we need to get... <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so this, happened, is, sorry. this is a learning process, right? Well, let's write our requirements. And then when we come to the backlog, this is when we start having those conversations. Like, um, what do you mean through Android? That means- are Sorry, you I thought we were already in requirement above that. <laughs> Um, all right, so so that I can make payments, right? Does that sound good? Better. Okay. Are we good on that? Yeah. Um, sorry, I had a little copy and paste error, but I put some things in the chat uh, for people that if they want to find out more information about what these things are. And I also included uh, from the Agile Alliance um, example. So if you want to copy and paste from there, you can. All right. So um, is it relating to account, um, this account thing that we're building? I just put the one that had it on Agile Alliance okay. where it says like, as a bank customer, it's in the chat. As a bank customer, I want to withdraw money from an ATM. So that blah, blah, blah. So it's basically what you wrote, what you put in there, Paul, was a well-formed, how to write a well-formed user story. Is that it? <laughs> No, I'm just copy and paste from the Agile Alliance. Uh, 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 those links I sent you, they, okay. it's all out there. It's all defined. So okay, so for time's sake. If people are worried about coming up with things, there's already stuff out there. <laughs> okay, so for time's sake, let's continue, continue, continue. So let's write another user story. So let's at least write five user stories um, and then we can move on. So what is another one? As a customer, what other user story you want to write? Guys, don't leave me alone. We're in this together. To move money or move funds from one account to another. Oh, how, how, oh okay. How's a customer? I, okay, sorry. Can I say? Okay, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. As a, okay. customer, as a customer, I want to um, access my balance so that I can. I can. Okay, I want to access my balance so that I can make a transfer. Could I mention something? Sure. So some of those stories looks like look like features. Uh, I mean, the, the part of it being a minimum viable product uh, if, you, if we could also uh, drill on, on that. Hello, I think, um, I think we clarified that earlier. After we have a backlog um, identified, then we could discuss subsequently on that for clarity. During the course of clarity, I'm sure we're going to have everything, you know, spelled out appropriately the way it should be. Right, and for the sake of time, I think that's when I'm we right, yeah. through it. Okay, okay, thanks. So we only have... Um, an hour so we can't really go into much detail but just to at least have an a, a, 
a basic idea of what it will look like. And hopefully you guys too can do more research on your own, right? So this is also a learning process, right? And as we go into backlog refinement or um, hopefully not sprint planning, then all these adjustments and clarity can be provided. But just to show you that um, when a requirement or when a user story is brought on, it's not going to be accurate. It's not going to be always on point, right? So that's where all this discussion and discovery process will come in place. All right, so as a customer, I want to access my account so that I can make, um, I can make a transfer, is that correct? And I'm gonna push enter. Okay. Um, what other stories do we wanna create? And now let's actually as a, create, oh, go As ahead. a traveler. As a, as a traveler? Yeah. As a, well, we're working on customer, right? Well, as a customer, I want to be able to pay make uh uh pay my utility bills. Well, I'll just pay bill. No pay bill, yeah. So can we say as a customer, I want to access my account so that I can pay make um pay bills? Pay bills, yeah. Okay, I want to. And uh, Vic, I don't know, I stand to be corrected. I think accessibility would suit, would go better on the, uh, the PII. Okay, so let's create more user stories. So now I want us to start also thinking about um, the other epic that we created. Let's also start creating user story for that epic. Does that make sense? As a customer, I want to access the ATM without my card. Is that possible? Oh, is that even possible? <laughs> yeah, Wells Fargo yeah, does that on your own. Yes, it is. Uh, that's that's really? Bank of America oh, does that also. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that? I want to... I want to access the ATM and get cash out. Without my card. That's on the screen. Yeah. Can't you rather say that um, as a customer or rather access ATM using my phone? Is that a better way to make it look? I don't know. Just a suggestion. Uh -huh. That's a different requirement. Right? So it might that, not. It, it might not just be by using the phone. It might be through biofeedback or some other method. You know, facial recognition, fingerprint. Yeah, exactly. Also, that's when acceptance criteria can come in place, right? Where we can have a broad user story, but then we start defining the criteria. So, if we say, "I want as a customer, I want access to my ATM um, machine virtually to withdraw." so that I can withdraw cash, then we can start um, um, kind of writing what criteria would that look like? Do we want it to be through our phone? Do we want it to be through um, biometric? Do we want it to be teleported? Whatever, right? And then even sometimes too, when you start writing those acceptance criteria, right? And then you start noticing, wait, through the phone, that's a whole nother story on its own. Maybe we need to then create another story for that instead of having that as part of the acceptance criteria. So that way we make that user story more um, smaller and is not too complex. Does that make sense? Access my ATM. Perfect. So I want to access my ATM. Uh, we said so that I can withdraw um, withdraw cash. And then part of the acceptance criteria can be um, the means that we would like to withdraw this cash. Um, what are the, um, do we have another, can we have two more for the PII? As a customer, I wanna be able to change 